Today we are going to discuss about one of the issues that I faced when working with uh, jQuery and update panel together. Let's consider what is this issue. After page load, jQuery events work fine inside update panel. But after one post back, the jQuery events will not be triggered inside update panel. The issue is mainly because after one post back, the update panel will replace or remove the contents inside the update panel. That's why jQuery cannot find the inside contents after post back. Let's consider how to resolve this issue. This issue can be resolved only by placing the previous contents inside update panel after post back. So, there is a class from Microsoft which is called a Page Request Manager which manages the partial page updates of the update panel controls. If there is update panel present, then an instance of the Page Request Manager class will be automatically available. We can access the Page Request Manager through one method which is called Get Instance Method. So, in order to resolve this issue, we have to place this much of code in your JavaScript file. Thereby, we are invoking the page request manager through the get instance method and the function needs to be called after postback should be present inside this add end request method. Here, what's happening that after page load, when button click happens, this call function will be automatically triggered. But when one postback happens, then when we do the button click, this will not be triggered. So, in order to trigger after post back, we have to place this much of code and place the call function inside this R and request method. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please visit technomark.in for more information.